Ooh, boy. Ooh. Boy, this is a bad <laughs> opening hand. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, alright. Um. Okay. Hey, we win a coin flip. Let's go. We got enough physique. That's cool. By going first, we got the physique curve. I like that for us. I don't like the rest of everything, but I, I like that for us. This is something. I guess, I guess I want to do it this way, because I want to make sure more that we get the value out of the Embracing Chi. I'm going to do this. Please don't kill me quickly, missus. Thank you. You didn't kill me at all. Even better. Roll on one, roll on two. Because we're on Crash Fest, we roll on two. Take a bit of a Z cap. Potentially relevant. Angle's a good pickup. I wish we didn't have just like the pieces of a lot of things, but Entangle is a good pickup. Um, looks fine here. This is probably fine. Hold the rest of this. Continue rolling next turn. Game, don't be like this. We got going on. Formation boy. Lie, lie, lie. Shang -jir. I have unfortunately killed him too quickly. But that's fine. Uh, locking an exercise soul and being down to go physique build seems like a pretty decent place to be here. Breaking through next turn, so let's just uh, do this to make sure we're breaking through next turn. We could even detect some horse palms if we uh, feel like it. I don't know what word almost came out of my mouth, but... We got there. Who are you attacking? Oh, it's Toshimo! Hey, buddy! You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. You don't love that he's probably going to kill me here, but you do love to see him in the lobby. Got it worth it, right? 
只有不顾一切，才能战到最后。Then we can just greed to four. The Corrado Classic. Literally asked it to, s of all the times, for it to do a quick swap. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's honestly not that big of a deal. This was an alternative line. It was just not what I intended. I would love to natural draw Bone Day. I would also love to hit 35 Physique this turn. How do we hit 35 Physique this turn? We have to get 9 Physique. That's 6. This is 9. I guess we'll just greet it. This is 9 Physique. It is a board that <laughs> it just gives a free win to this Drunkard. But it is, in fact, 9 Physique. And I would love to do that. So you know what? Enjoy the win. Thanks for the raid, Trinet. You're seeing us throw around here. Hope your stream went well. We're just doing a quick casual throw to make sure we hit physique curve next turn. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Which round are we not throwing? Uh, hopefully next round. Next round, I intend to roll down pretty hard. This round, we most certainly are throwing, though. I'm really glad you all joined us for this game rather than the previous cat girl game. <laughs> that would have been an embarrassing introduction. There's Bone Day. I'm dumb. It's 36 to break through. I'm dumb anyways. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. But also, this is chat's fault for not correcting me. How dare you all? How dare you all not advise me of that? Honestly, if anyone's to blame, it's anyone other than me. Yep. That's what we're going to go with. What's in shop? Who knows? I should probably take a peek. So we're strong now? Ne next, next turn we'll be strong. Now we're strong. Now we're strong. Commit to the physique memes. Surely this never backfires on us. Shop has RKP and crane footwork. Shop is actually crazy. 
Chop is actually crazy. We break through in two rounds. Because of all this physique cap we have. I'm down to just full greed this. Let's just... Let's just get in on this greed. Let's do it. What could go wrong? What could ever go wrong here? I don't see a way for this to backfire, honestly. We've surely never missed on five before. We have a guaranteed at least one RKP. I don't see any way that this could backfire on us. Seems like pure upside. Oh, that's how it backfires. We lose another coin flip. Tragic. Tragic. Otherwise, surely we were in a fine spot. We might actually win this still. Her board looked pretty bad. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Alright, we get to break through... What am I doing with my math right now? Am I okay? Am I alright? What did I... What happened to me? Roll two more cards. Whatever. Easy game. The game will carry me. Even if I'm going to play poorly, the game will carry me, apparently. And we take those. We absolutely take those. I'd rather be lucky than good. Sometimes. I... I want to assure any new viewers that I normally play better than this. Chat's about to call me a liar, but I do assure you I normally play better than this. It's, it's uh, just a permanent physique cap. It's not more physique per round. If you add two physique cap, instead of our cap being at, like, 51, it's now at 53. But it's not like every round we get another two physique per turn we can get. If that's what you're asking. Endless sword formation water is something I don't think I've ever seen put together before. Non-judgmental novice, thank you. We need more of you. My hero. Alright, so we break through next turn. And we just hard commit to this RKP build. Probably worth starting to ho hold cards even for the scroll of exchange. I might scroll of exchange on breakthrough. That's actually... That's actually kind of cute, right? Before we have a good board. I really wish I had kept some cards this turn, then. Hindsight's twenty twenty and all that. Do I always get Scroll of Exchange? I always get Scroll of Exchange. I don't know why, but I always get Scroll of Exchange. Like, unironically, I'm pretty sure we get Scroll of Exchange in at least two out of three of our lobbies. And I have I have no idea why, other than to make chat attack me make chat attack me and bully me into clicking it. It has also not once this season ever been good. Every single time we have clicked it, it has been terrible. But, that's not going to stop us from clicking it again.
<laughs> we we are already clicking it. You don't need a pull for that. But if Zygon or KG wants to create it, you can. And we're scaling wound on him. That's kind of cool. I don't think we're scaling it fast enough to matter, but it is kind of cool. Certainly was not fast enough to matter, but still. Neat. Alright, breakthrough. Take tier 5 every single time here. And find our build in its entirety. So we're going to start by doing... Just putting our physique cards on the board. We are going to roll this first. And then we are going to just click the button. We got an RKP out of that. That's good. Another RKP right here, which we're taking right now. There's an exercise marrow. That was actually good. That was legitimately good. Wait. Guys, we got a good exchange. I have to roll quickly, but that was legitimately good. That's... That was a wild breakthrough. That was a wild breakthrough. That was so strong. This is actually gross. Yeah, I totally get what you're saying there, Titania. Just being able to spam World Smash does sound like a cool idea. Goodbye. Whoa, this is a high roll. We are officially in high roll territory. The other thing, cultivation, which we never need. Cool. debuffers in the lobby? There is a debuffer in the lobby. I should probably stay open to Soul Seizing for certain lines. Soul Seizing, sure, Roar, being here. Enough for a reason to be open to it. That's so good! That's so good! I'm uncomfortable with hitting this well. Do we want Sticks Agility for that line still? We never need these. We never need the Bone Days again. There's Soul Cleaving. Like, we actually have a legitimate self-debuff build. <laughs> we have a legitimate self-debuff build in hand. Uh, we never need the Flying Brush because we're just ridiculously stacked on Crane Footworks. And it messes with some of those lines. Uh, bearing the Load Soul Cleaving does see play. Blitz doesn't. Just clearing up the mental stack a little bit here. But yeah, sure roars, soul catastrophes, or soul cleavings or whatever. Yeah, this is sick. This is sick. Like exercise too? Yeah, I was just I was dealing with cleansing my hand first. But um yeah, I I do agree with putting exercise up earlier potentially. I was just trying to quickly set up a board. We have an entire debuff pivot in hand though, if we need to do that for any matchups. Yeah, no, that's on solid Titania. But it does require a lot of hits, as you mentioned. What an insane board we have. 
I guess we are low on destiny to have gotten here, but I'm okay with that if it gets these results. Another RKP. Fair. Do I even need to be on the debuff build? Who do I need to be on the debuff build against? Her? Literally just her. Because the RKP, we're now at enough scaling that the RKP line is going to be better against like everybody else. I don't... I want to power spike a bit harder if we can. We have three rolls. Okay. Worth a try. Worth a try. Yeah, she's she's eating well. So the argument for early exercise soul is that it is giving an extra attack up for our marrow hit. Which is kind of relevant. Hey, J buddy. Stuck behind on physique all game. I've been there. I have been there. That's that's why we threw around for physique earlier in the game. Just to make sure we could catch up on cap. Guess we'll do this. There's literally no reason not to. The only thing we're missing right now are, like, more exercise souls. Other than that, the, this board is crazy. We go a lot of games where we never find any exercise souls, so... Pretty happy with this. What was the stock in the live shop for this game? Uh, a RKP, a crane footwork, a exchange all, and a plus some amount of cultivation? And we made very good use of three of those. I need her to die. <laughs> if she can just die, then we can get rid of the entire debuff board in our hand. Why won't she consider our feelings? Okay, now I have to start doing exercise soul math and crane footwork math. So, assuming we've just finishing touch all of these, right? It's 13, 5, 13, 5. That puts us at 30, which is probably just good enough to make that pivot, right? Oh, we could actually do 16, 5, 16, 5, which puts us at 40. Probably even better. We lose the RKP, but I think that's worth it. I think getting to fit this in is even better. Yeah, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn eight guaranteed kill with a good chunk of good, good, good chunk of healing. That seems great for this matchup. I'm down. I am down. Yeah, the shop the shop was pretty stacked for us here. Range footwork and RKP was fantastic for us. The scroll of exchange for the first time ever was actually like incredible. We got a crane footwork and exercise marrow and an RKP out of it, I'm pretty sure. It was really good. The self wound is definitely bad in this matchup. I want to believe we'll be strong enough to beat him here, but we might not be. The self-wound is really, really bad against full chase, Cloud. Here's our heal. Is it enough? I think it is. I think we're good. Okay. Really nice to knock him out of the lobby if he doesn't have a cheat death here. Ah, he does. 
Okay, she's gone. We can kick the entire self-debuff build, right? Oh, I wish I could see their boards right now, but I, I have to believe we can. Otherwise, I take the Shararar here, but let's just kick it. Let's believe in our build. I had an exercise soul in hand. Why did I have an exercise soul in hand this entire time and no one told me? Chat. Chat, how could you? This entire time I've been sitting on an exercise soul in hand and none of you told me. I also had an Astow by Paint in hand and none of you told me. You are letting me down, chat. Very disappointed, you. Everyone told me? But no one told me. Literally no one told me. I just scrolled up. You just got here? Okay, I, I forgive you, Phoenix. Um, so we could be on like... 16, 5, 5, 5, 5? Are you supposed to play the game for me? Ideally. That would relieve a lot of the uh, strain on me. I don't think we're beating this is the problem. Uh... This is fine. This is fine. I'm just trying to be tanky enough to not die here. Uh, I'm absolutely not. This is going to hurt, though. There's about to be a lot of damage coming our way. Do we just kill her first? Wait, this actually kills? I was not expecting us to first cycle kill with RKP. Okay, alright. That was that was not the plan. But we take those. Or exercise marrow makes that a lot comfier. I wish I had these separated again. But you know, you can never know. <laughs> Yen Yanchen being kind, something is wrong. Um, I want to make sure the finishing hut touches are hitting the RKPs, right? So our current chase is 18, 18. So I'd like to get just the tiniest bit more value out of that. That seems fine. I don't want to upgrade the exercise marrow because two separate exercise marrows is really good against her trying to get an earlier kill timing on us. And it looks like she's going to have to go for an earlier kill timing. Can touch upgrade cards past max level? Nope. That'd be cute though. If if touch uh, if a card is maxed out, so let's say this was maxed out, and touch has an upgrade available on it, it just doesn't waste it on that. So instead of upgrading these five, it wouldn't upgrade this, and they would upgrade one, two, three, four, five. The nice thing about that is that means touch can upgrade the same card twice, technically, if you have an upgraded enough board. But we've definitely been in spots like that before. Enough. It is just barely enough. We take those. We take those. Alright. Just got one contestant left. Pretty good game. Pretty good game.
So I think we don't go for the double marrow yet here. Because we've already shown we can kill her. Well, she did get a lot tankier, right? How much damage is this doing? We're on 7, 9, um... So, like, 16, 17-ish. We'll say 17, and then, uh... Jeez, that's a lot of damage. I don't like that. 31-ish. 33 times 6, so we're at, like, 180-ish. I might just have to double exercise Mero now. I might just have to do the other exercise Mero now. Double exercise Mero seems too good here. Slows us down a little, but I think it's just too important to survive that first. She also gets the extra damage from my self-wounding. A lot of self-healing we've got going here. As long as she doesn't hit any other upgrades to the Sword Intent Surges, we're good. Okay, we should be fine here. I don't think she's doing 196, I think it's just short. It is just short. It is just short. The definition of just short. She needs to stop Cat Soul Blessing. I I need her to stop doing that. That is a very, very big deal for her to stop doing. Yikes. That's that's a problem. That's a big problem. Um, we're always dead next fight. I guess I'm just... I mean, it's a free cultivation now. So, we are worse for upgrading these, right? Because we go from having two maxed out ones to a maxed out one and a level two one. We could fit in another one, which gives us just a tiny bit more HP to cover if she finds an upgrade. But then I don't know if we're actually killing. We could fit that in over the exercise soul, but I don't know if we're killing at that point. Uh, this is a tough one. It's a really tough one. Gonna, I'm gonna just do this. Maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong. If we don't, if we don't kill her, we get to still kind of tap through with the exercise marrows afterwards. From our passive, but that may not be enough here. We'll see. Ah, she got a ton of cultivation there. She must have just bought it as well. Is the finishing touch enough to beat us? That's definitely going to be pretty strong. We're actually going to hit the health cap. I think she's going to do over 214, which is a problem. I think she's going to do over 220, which is a problem. <laughs> yeah... We're fine. We're fine. We're okay. Stop cat soul blessing and die. Just die. Please. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh my god, that's so much exercise, Marrow. Our Marrow is so thick. No, she's definitely gotten out. But I think she ate like all of her cards this turn to go first. I don't know if she has an out unless she draws extremely well. We can also just speed up now that she lost her defenses. Now that she lost her defenses, we can actually just speed up, right? Kind of tough. But right now we're also calling her bluff and saying she doesn't have enough damage to kill us really tough. I don't think we're ever playing another Crane Footwork here. We can Fulu wins. We can Fulu wins. We can Fulu effortlessly wins. Wait, that's huge. One, two, 
Let's. He's doing it on five or six. One, two, three, four. I mean, this catches everything. This always wins. This always wins. This this totally wins. Because it's upgrading the weakened Fulu, so there's no way she's killing through that. This only loses if she calls out that we're slowing down a ton this turn. That's the only way this loses. Okay, we're fine. We are fine. Ooh, she even got the Chaos upgrade this turn. We got there, though. Cool. Please just die. One more time. Once more. I honestly don't see how she ever kills through this, though, right? Because we're currently killing her on... One, two, three, four, five, six. We're killing her on six with a weekend that starts on four. She can never kill us before four, and she can never kill us through weekend on five or six, right? So what does she even have that could do this? I think we just play the same board again. Even though we have these options. I'll keep them for post-game recap if we need them. But I, I don't see how she's beating this. I will say I guess we don't really need the finishing touch anymore, but the finishing touch makes the weakened Fulu aiming better and gives us better RKP. Don't kill on the second RKP if she keeps the defense in. Did she just barely live last time? But even then we kill on the uh, exercise souls and exercise marrows punching through afterwards. We, st we still kill on this. Because we've got Stance of Fierce Attack. We're fine. Yeah, yeah. She would have to get insanely... Like, she would have to pivot to, like, a full Chase Sword Formation build to beat that. And if she's doing that, she's losing too much damage, I'm pretty sure. I think we've just got this. That does look like some pretty significant upgrades to that line. Which is spooky. I think we're fine. Yep. Cool. We got there. That was stressful, but we got there. 